Dying Light 2 on GeForce Now 3080, an Air GPU 3080 and a maximum setting 6800 XT. Can you tell which one is which here as we dive into this three-way comparison? Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme Channel. Today we're looking at Dying Light 2 across three platforms and I'll just give you a bit of time to look at all three images here and see if you can guess which one is which. Two of these are virtual PCs, one in Canada, one in Ireland and a local GeForce Now 3080 tier on the London server. So I can tell you that the left is GeForce Now on the RTX 3080 tier, Air GPU running the A10G, basically RTX 3080 equivalent in the middle, and the maximum settings running the 6800 XT virtual PC on the right. So let's go full screen and have a look a bit more detail. So now we're running full screen on the GeForce Now RTX 3080 tier running full ultra ray tracing settings. And you may notice as we move around, we do get a little bit of blurriness, but when we stop, everything sharpens up. This is a bit of a knock on effect at the moment and it is slightly annoying, although it does get better the more that you play as it seems to almost cache some of the environment. So the streaming does give a little bit of blurriness overall here, but it does still play exceptionally well. And if you look at the Steam overlay up in the top left, we are getting 60 frames per second with that DLSS on quality as well. As we switch over to Air GPU, unfortunately we can't get Moonlight working with Game Stream on Air GPU A10s right now. So this is actually Parsec up at 40 megabits per second, although it seems to cap itself at 20 at 1440p. Again, running full ultra ray tracing settings and quality DLSS here. What you may notice is we don't seem to get that blurriness as we move around and it's looking just as good. However, we are dipping down into the 40 frames per second a lot more than we were on the GeForce Now tier. Overall though, Air GPU did feel pretty local and I was absolutely astounded by the quality there. So as we move over to the maximum settings 6800 XT, this did surprise me on the quality however you will notice that I keep getting some stutters there and although the frames per second do sit at a solid 60 here at full high settings I did get those stutters which did ruin it a little bit but I think this is just because of how far away I am running this in Canada and I'm in the UK so a ping of around 100 milliseconds does give this slow bitrate warning occasionally and causes me to kind of stutter about a little bit. Generally it wasn't too bad, but I do feel like it should be a bit better. The maximizer settings are doing extremely well, mimicking that Moonlight server, and is still well worth a go, especially as it's a lot cheaper. So as we come back side by side then, we see that GeForce now does look a little bit more blurry compared to both of the other images here. And although maximum settings 6800 XT does not have ray tracing, the colour and just quality of the image is actually still exceptionally good. So between Air GPU and maximum settings, although they are both virtual PCs, one is the A10 using Parsec and the maximum settings is using GameStream on an AMD 6800 XT. So between the two of them, I do actually prefer the colours of the maximum settings version. And there is quite a price difference between those two as well. But as I said, you do get a bit of latency if you are quite far from Canada. Now, there is a huge price difference across all three of these. The GeForce Now RTX 3080 tier will cost you £90 or just under $100 for six months. The Air GPU A10 RTX 3080 equivalent will set you back a staggering $4 an hour plus some storage cost on top of that. So it really is a premium service there. And for the maximum settings tier four, you can expect around one Canadian dollar an hour and you get a lot of rig for your money there. So it really is a bargain. We will be doing some comparisons with Shadow PC and Boosteroid at 1080 coming up soon with the priority tier of GeForce Now as well. So do keep your eye out for those. But have a look at these three images once again and let us know in the comments below which one you think looks best and whether you're going to be diving into Dying Light 2 anytime soon. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.